Hello. Today we are going to learn how to align this profiles. As you can see, this profile is not what how we want it to be. Before that, let me show you a small tip regarding 3D sketches. I'm going to hide this. Now, as you can see, this line has to pass. This line actually passes through this line. But, but as you can see, there is no point in between. So it doesn't, SOLIDWORKS doesn't identify both lines are coinciding or not. This is a good practice if you want, uh, if you if you have a one complete member going through other member. Obviously in practical and practical, uh, you will have to split this member till this member from this member to this member. So we are going to reflect the same in our drawing. Let me go to edit sketch. I'll select the trim entity. I'll select the line which I want to delete. And uh, this is use this is really useful if you uh, don't want uh, hassles uh, in upcoming weldment trims and extend. This will actually save you a lot of time uh, if you have joined two points instead joining from point line joining a line from point this point to the other point. Now I'm going to join this point from this point to this and then I, I will go to the other point which is some, somewhere over here. This what does uh, this also has one more advantage of uh, of uh, when you are assigning the weldment cross sections it will not show you uh, any extrusions extrusions out of the members and um, many a times if we if we have not done this before the SOLIDWORKS will not allow you to assign a weldment member to it that's usually the problem so it's always better to you know connect the points and if there is a member in between connect to that member then you go and go to the proceed to the next member then i'll hit okay now because you have created two separate lines it will obviously create two separate wellman members now as you can see this member obviously there will be one more member added and this this junction would actually look nice now uh, basically i don't want this to be aligned like this i want this uh, this cross section to be this surface and this surface to be parallel so to do this you have to go edit the feature and go down and select the member which you want to align suppose this member 2 I suppose it's 1 so I go down and there's something called alignments here. So this alignment will help us to align the cross section properly. Now for selecting this, it will ask you for a reference uh, of direction. So it's always a usually a good practice to have your coordinate assigned. For example, I make this uh, normal two perpendicular lines in the front plane and just leave it as it is. Now I go back to the edit feature and I select that member and I see, see to it that the alignment is selected and it is pointing towards one of the line. Now let's see the effect of this. As you can see, 
this surface is now perfectly parallel to this surface. This is exactly how we would, we would want. This is useful when you have uh, different profiles from what you want and the profiles are not symmetric. For example, L, L angles uh, and C, C sections. C section is not, is paneled to only one plane, not the other plane. So obviously you would want the flat base to be either on this side or on either of the sides. So in that it's the alignment tool is pretty handy to set your directions. Now, uh, once you have aligned to one of the coordinate or one of the sketches, you also have the flexibility to uh, designate a degree of turn to it. Uh, this you can do over here. See, align horizontal axis and we can change the degrees. And as you can see, it's moving. So this you can this can be done based on what uh, requirement you have. When these two things are taken care of, uh, you would uh, I think you would not face a problem of uh, assigning the development profiles and members to sketches which previously you you couldn't have. I hope this helps.